the next question is the electron microscope is used to the right answer is option one to study virus and bacteria. So an electron microscope is a microscope that uses the beam of accelerated electrons as a source of illumination. It is a special type of microscope having a high resolution of images able to magnify the objects in a nanometers. So to study virus and bacteria, the electron microscopes are used. The next question is which of the following statement is correct in case of gamma rays? The right answer is option 3 that is penetrating power is very high. A gamma rays or a gamma radiation is a penetrating electromagnetic radiation arising from the radioactive decay of atomic nuclei. It consists of the shortest wavelength electromagnetic waves and so the imparts the highest photon energy. So in gamma rays the penetration power is very high. The next question is for a destructive interference of light, the path difference should always be the right answer is option 1. So the path difference should be always 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. The next question is the resultant in intensity of an interference of a two monochromatic waves having a same amplitude and constant phase difference is equal to pi is. The right answer is option 2. So that will be equal to 4a square cos square pi by 2. So what is this monochromatic waves? So monochromatic waves refers to the wave with a single wavelength and frequency and it always only one color and it has only one color. The next question is for a two objects to be just resolved the principal maximum should be on the right answer is option 3 that is first minimum. So for a two objects to be just resolved the principal maximum should be on first minimum. The next question is resolving power of a microscope is given by the right answer is option 4 that is 2n sin theta by lambda. So what is this resolving power? So resolving power of an object lens is a measured by its ability to differentiate two lines or two points on a object and it is given by the equation 2n sin theta divided by lambda. The next question is in case of acid the concentration of H plus ions is the right answer is option 1 more than 10 raised to minus 7 g ions per liters. The next question is the corrosion of metals can be prevented by keeping it in the right answer is option 3 that is neutral medium. So corrosion is a natural process that converts the refined metals into more chemical stable form such as oxide, hydroxide and sulphide. It is a gradual distillation of a material by chemical or electrochemical reaction with the environment. So this can be prevented by keeping the metal into neutral medium. The next question is an example of basic SI unit is the right answer is ampere. Seven basic quantities from which all other SI units can be derived. So that is second for time, meter for length, kilogram for mass, ampere for current, kelvin for temperature, mole for amount of substance and candela for luminous of intensity. So ampere is a basic SI unit. The next question is the prefix used for 10 raised to plus 2 is the right answer is option 1 that is hecta. So, so these are the prefix used for various numbers. So some examples I have given. So for 10 raised to plus 2 it is hecta and it is denoted by H. And centi it is 10 raised to minus 2 and pico it is 10 raised to minus 12 and peta is 10 raised to 15. So these are the few examples still we are having many prefixes for 10 raised to x numbers. The next question is an example of dimensional physical quantity is the right answer is option 
2 that is strain. So strain can be defined as change in length to original length whereas change in length will be in a, a meters as well as original length will be in also meter. So both as denominator and denominator will be having the same dimension hence the strain will have a dimensional unit. So strain is a dimensional as parameter. The next question is the velocity of freely falling body gradually it dash as it falls. So the velocity of freely falling body gradually increases as it falls. So the right answer is increases because the velocity of freely body does changes during the fall. The acceleration of an object in a free fall is 9.8 meter per second square which means for every second the velocity is increased by 9.8 meter per second. So as it comes to at the end of fall the velocity will be increasing. So that increase in the velocity will be for each second it will be 9.8 9.8 meter per second. The next question is the main scale is divided into the half mm and having a vernier containing 20 divisions has a has a least count of in dash centimeter. The right answer is option 4 that is 0 0.25 into 10 raised to minus 2. So in physics the least count of a measuring instrument is the smallest and accurate value in the measured quantity that can be measured by an instrument on a scale. So that is a least count. The next question is for a particular mass the moving body its friction is minimum when it is the right answer is option 3 that is rolling. So during sliding the there will be maximum contact of surface area between the two bodies and so in that case it will be more friction static means so there will be no movement so there will be no generation of friction. Dragging, dragged means it is pulled from one place to another place. Even that condition also the friction will be more. So during rolling only the point contact, only the contact will be at only single point between the two surfaces. So during the movement of in a body the friction is minimum in rolling. The next question is all equations of motion holds good under the condition of the right answer is option 2 that is constant acceleration. The next question is a force of 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 Newton acts for a 3 seconds on a body of mass 0.5 kg moving with a velocity 4 meter per second. The final velocity of in a body is the right answer is option 1 that is 4.9 meter second. So question the force is given and the, and the mass of an a body is given and the initial velocity is given. So it is we need to identify the final velocity of a body. Now force on any body or a, the velocity can be identified by using a formula force into time that will be equals to mass of a body into final velocity minus initial velocity. Now force on a body is already given that is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 into time. So it is acting for 3 seconds. So if you multiply that you will get a 1 value. So mass is already given that is 0 0.05 kg and final velocity that is Vf we need to identify and initial velocity is already given that is Vi 4. So if you substitute all those things you will get an equation Vf will be equal to so that is final velocity will be equal to 4.9 meter per second. So that is your right answer. The next question is to check the equilibrium of in a five coplanar concurrent forces we use the right answer is option 4 that is polygon polygon of force. So what is this law of polygon forces says if the number of forces acting on a point be represented by the side of polygon taken in order then their resultant is obtained by closing the side of polygon taken in a opposite direction. So to check the equilibrium of in a five coplanar concurrent forces we use law of polygon of forces. The next question is the SI unit of momentum is the right answer is option 4 that is kg meter per second. 
So momentum is a product of mass of in a particle into its velocity. So the momentum is a vector quantity. So that is it has both magnitude and direction. So the SI unit of momentum will be kg meter per second. The next question is when three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, the angle of angle opposite to the biggest force is always dash angle. The right answer is option two that is smallest. So when three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, then the angle opposite to the biggest force is always smallest angle. And the last question in this applied science section is the towing of boat by two force is an illustration of the right answer is option one that is law of parallelogram of forces. So, according to law of parallelogram of forces, it states that if two vectors acting on a particle at the same time be represented in a magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of parallelogram drawn from a point. The resultant vector is represented in the magnitude and direction by the diagonal of a parallelogram drawn from the same point. So this is a law of parallelogram. So, so in the towing of boat by two forces is an example of law of parallelogram of forces.